Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy toggle macro for any Razer device. Hello everyone, my name is K3GamerK3. I hope you're having a great day. First, let's just start by defining what I mean by toggle. Toggle just means I'm going to quickly press a key and it's going to think that it's getting held down so that I don't have to physically hold down the key. So let's just get right into it. If I go to macros, create a new macro, and we're going to call this one shift down. So I'm going to create this one to hold shift down for me. We want no delay and a start recording. So I'm going to press shift and this shows it getting pressed down. But if I release shift, it also shows it getting released and that is not what we want. So let's start again real quick. Shift getting held down and that's what we want without the release. So I'm going to hit stop recording and then I'm going to let go of the button so that only shift is getting held down. Go to keyboard and let's just put it right next to the shift key. Uh, this is a new keyboard I got. It's the Razer Black Widow Chroma Stealth. And it's got these five designated macro keys that I'm putting these on right now. So if I press M4, it's going to think I'm holding down shift when I'm really not. I don't have to hold anything down myself. The only catch with this is how to get that to release. I can't just press the button again because that just continues to tell my computer that shift is being held down. To let my computer think shift is getting released, I either have to press the button myself in that pressing it down and releasing it, the release gets registered and it doesn't think shift is getting held anymore. The other way to do this is to go to macros and create a new one. We're going to call this shift up, but I'm going to hold shift ahead of time, press record and let go so that only shift getting released is recorded as part of the macro. Hit stop, go to my keyboard, and put it on a key. And that's all there is to it. Now for shift down, I have this set to play once and we that's all we want. We don't want play multiple times, we don't want toggle continuously because that makes the computer think that the button is getting pressed multiple times, and that is not what we want. We just want it to play once, so that shift is getting held down until we say it is getting released. So if I press that, shift is getting held down until I say otherwise, and to tell it that shift is getting released, all I have to do is either press shift, or press the shift up macro that we just made. Let me give you another example. So say I wanted to do one for walking in a game. Let's create a new macro and let's call it walk. Press record, W getting pressed down, and then stop recording before I let up on it. So it's just W getting pressed down. And let's just put it here on the M1 key. Tell it we want a macro, we want walk, and just play once and save. So now if I press M1, it's gonna think W is getting held down so that I don't have to do it myself. To get it to stop walking, to get W to release, all I have to do is press W on my keyboard, or again, I can create another macro that's, let's see, stop walking. Now this is a little bit of a tricky one. If I hold W down ahead of time, it's just going to type here, and that's not what we want. We want to get rid of this cursor, and there's an easy way to do that. If I go to default delay, the cursor moves to typing in the seconds here. But we don't really want a default delay, we want no delay. And now the cursor is nowhere to be seen. I can press W ahead of time, so that this is only going to get W getting released. I have to have it held ahead of time. So my computer's going to ding a time or two here because I'm pressing a key down that's not doing anything. I'm going to hit record. 
and I'm going to release. And it's just W getting released. Stop recording. Go to my keyboard and let's put that on the M2 key right below walk. Stop walking, play once, and save. So there, we have a key that presses shift down and a key that releases shift. Or again, I can just press shift myself. A key that presses W down and a key that releases W, or I can just press W myself. So what I use these for is uh, just Minecraft right now so that I can just walk and I don't have to hold W myself, it'll just walk for me. And I keep my hand here, I don't really need a release key separately, so I'm just going to delete that and the same thing with the shift, my hand's going to be right here, it's right next to the shift key, so I don't mind pressing the buttons themselves and I'm just going to delete the stop walking and the shift up ones right here. So. That's all I really need. If I press M1, it thinks I'm holding W, and to get it to stop thinking I'm holding W, I just press W myself. Same thing with Shift on my M4 key. If I press that, it thinks Shift is getting held down until I press Shift. And that's all there is to it. That's just a quick one minute way to make an easy macro, and you can do this with any key that you want to do this with. It's that easy. Again, my name is K3GamerK3. Check out some of my Minecraft videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.